see you. <laughs> Let's go take care of this guy. There we go. All right, guys. <laughs> Joe Cool here. Welcome to my Feed the Beast Let's Play. Feed the Beast Unleash Let's Play. <laughs> I won't comment on that. <laughs> All right. So what I want to do today is we're going to work on the assembly table because I really want to get the ME storage going because I got a lot of stuff in there and it's called haphazard and chaotic I really like the access in here but trying to get stuff in and out can be troublesome and um, I also want the ME to manage all the farms for power and um, give you a quick look I added some glass um, that in there is a warded crystal um, let's see here. Where are you at? No, just illuminated glass. It's nope. Quartz glass. Quart. Oh, I guess I should have spelled it right. I think I spelled it with an S. <laughs> okay. Um, vibrant quartz glass. So it's just the quartz glass with some um, oop, with some glowstone in it, and that. Um, lights up that area makes it look really nice without um, without being too obtrusive like uh, glowstone or um, pumpkins pumpkins would be quite obnoxious jack-o-lanterns um, although I did use jack-o-lanterns down here so it should be pretty cool so let's get to work and um, I'm thinking we're gonna go straight back here. This, these axes. These are axes of awesome. You've heard of axes of evil. These are axes of awesome. <laughs> um, let's see. So when I want to pick just one layer, add a block. Um, yeah, I want to get that layer too. And then, okay. So let's go back one more layer. Call those up. Um, hmm. So I wanted to run that around. How low is that? So one, two, so I'm on what, 56, 55, 54. I should be able to, I might be able to run it through there and under there. Hmm, I'll have to look at that. I'm going to leave it there for right now because I want to, <coughs> dang, I'm still coughing. Craziness. Throw a torch down. I want to do about 12, maybe? Um, right, let's go ahead and pick this out. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's see, redstone. There we go. Need eight, gonna need nine. Put nine in here. Oh! Uh, I need more electrum for those. Ah, uh, gold. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I've been working on today. <laughs> uh, Pork chops. Nom 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 nom. Okay, so I'm looking at putting some lasers up here. Probably clear out, um, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. That'll be 12. 12, I believe, 12 would be about 48 to 50 MJ per tick. 
which should do pretty good. And I can throw my assembly table right out here in the middle of nowhere. I hate... That's the thing I don't like about the assembly table. It's obnoxious. It's like, ugh, trip and fall. <laughs> Maybe if I moved it back one, it wouldn't be. Ooh. I could run it up here. And then I wouldn't have to look at it. I like that idea. Whose idea was that? <laughs> That's an awesome idea. All right. Um, bink. All right, let's see here. It has to be one, two, three, four. That should be enough. Um, let's see here. Um, some of those. I'm going to have to move these guys up. Oh, that's going to be... Um, hmm. Problem. Maybe. Well, um, do I have some stone? Okay, so let's put there. And what we can do is we can put the laser here, the, or the assembly table here. We can put a layer of um, lasers up here. That's... Um, do we want to come out? Let's come out one. There, I think that would look better. We'll bring this straight out. We'll put 12 of them right there. One, yeah. Yeah, I think that, that'll look pretty good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put together some, some more um, conduit. Some lasers, some sharks to put the laser beams on, and an assembly table to land right there. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. All right, I'm back. For some reason, when I'm starting a clip, it seems to stutter. So I'll give it a second to stabilize. <laughs> While I cough profusely. <laughs> trying not to okay so we got our um, assembly table here <coughs> I couldn't help it uh, we got 12 lasers sitting up here um, problem with lasers if they're connected to your MJ network they can draw power which um, is kind of annoying so what I've gone and done is I made a gate now a gates really easy you throw a redstone um, See, yeah, cool, it's turned off. Okay, you throw a redstone in there, you get a redstone chipset. Throw the redstone chipset in there, you get a gate. Now, the nice thing about a gate is um, you can turn a redstone signal on and off based on work scheduled. So, if I go over here, um, I need, let's do stone. I have stone, I need glass. So, um, gates connect to well I wonder if they would connect to um, let's see if things have changed no nope. but they do connect to pipes which is oh wow I have exactly two stone stone transport pipe okay so it doesn't matter what pipes you use so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a pipe down there a gate on it and then I'm going to apply a I'm essentially creating a oh I forget what you call them anyway well I changed it to work schedule so if I have something scheduled so if you look right now it's blank now if I put a redstone in there See, it's waiting. Energy required, 10,000. So you come down here and you see it's lit up. And there's um, the red lights on, meaning that this condition met. I'm creating a conditional statement. That's what I'm creating. 
So conditional statement says, if this, then do this. So if this is true, so work is scheduled, then do this, turn redstone signal on. Or do nothing. So turn redstone signal on. So what I want to do is I want to apply redstone signal that way. Um, I want to add a torch. I guess I could do it either way. Yeah, I guess I could put it on top. Um, so you know what? I don't need all that. So to pick these up, you shift and right click. And then you go digging for it. So I forgot that. So what I want to do is I want to put a redstone energy cell here. And only when there's work scheduled do I want um, the lasers to go on. So essentially, if, the, if there's no work scheduled, then no energy should be um, transferred up to... Um, the lasers so it'll just so uh, let's see here so put that on top put our gate on top of there create our conditional statement turn red sun signal on so then we can take redstone guy there that goes up we need to flop this guy so this is input into this energy cell which is what we want um, it's filling up right now, but it's not outputting any energy because we have this pointing the wrong way. So flip it around and it should. Oh wait, it's not sending it out because we didn't change the status. Okay, so um, there we go. Signal required high. So we're requiring a redstone signal. So when this energy cell receives a redstone signal, it's going to um, allow energy to dissipate from whichever side is available and it finished already <coughs> Oop. ever do that so we got a redstone chipset and then, uh, redstone chipsets you can use them to make all kinds of other gates uh, or an advanced crafting table hmm no that's what I'm creating a Applied energistics. This is stupid. You shouldn't have to pay MJ to, to craft. That's like... Crafting just takes time. That's all it takes. And automation is saving time. Saving time. I guess saving time by doing energy. If it didn't take that much energy, I guess it wouldn't be that big a deal. But... Um, so what I ended up doing, um, let's see, where did I put it? Ah, here it is. Oh, hey, there's my tunnel. So what I did is uh, I ran the uh, output from my power plant all the way around. Uh, so you can see the hole right there. It runs over to the lava tank. Uh, getting stuck on here. So it runs over to the lava tank right here, kind of comes over and stares down because it runs right along here. It's actually like right there. <laughs> so it stares down and then it cuts over and then comes back up the other side. So that um, instead of using energy tesseracts, if I used an energy tesseract, I'd lose about 25% of my energy just by sending it over and using it over here. Now everything over here is direct connect, so I'm not losing any energy by transferring stuff over here, except for the pipes. I believe the, the conduits, you lose like 0.5% or 5%, I don't know. You lose something in the conduits, somebody said. I don't know if you you lose it anymore, but... I'm okay with it. So let's kick this guy in there. See how fast that goes. This is 20,000 MJ. This is actually really good. I like this. 
Um, only getting 37 MJ. 39. Oh, because they're not blue yet. Maybe it'll go up when they're... Oh, uh, well, <laughs> by the time they got blue... <laughs> Oh, it was done. But this is filling up nicely, so I'll have, even if I run out of energy, I'll still have, be able to um, be able to use the assembly table, at least for a little bit. <laughs> so I got some spare energy there. And it's only going up, so this energy cell will only power this um, assembly table. So now we can get to the fun stuff. So what I'm going to show you here is, let's see here, uh, Applied Energistics. So we got some controllers that require these advanced. So redstone diamond chip set, so a diamond and a redstone and an assembly table it takes 80,000 um, silicon, some dust, that's fine. So I need one of those. Um, the pattern provider, redstone diamond chipset, gold chipset for the disk drive. What is this? This was the pattern encoder. More gold chipsets. More gold chipset. ME cable. Okay, that's that's simple enough. ME interfaces. More gold chipsets. You know, a lot of this uses the assembly table. So now that we got this up, you know, even these guys use an ME interface. That's a storage bus. I don't want that one so much. These are oh, just any colored wool. Okay. But this is some cool stuff. So storage bus, storage bus, assembler containment. Okay, that's not too bad. Heat vents, not too bad. Crafting crafting CPU for each one of these requires a diamond chipset. So I may have to set up another um, quarry, and um, I might look for a quarry age because that would that would be pretty sweet. Is if I get a miscraft age for coring and um, I wonder so now that I got all that over there yeah see if I get my ME network up I can so right now I have my ender pouch feeding into these um, chests over here and I could totally feed look at that two diamonds on one of them oh no diamonds over here let's see how much is in here nothing okay Oh, 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 big no-no, big no-no. Let me, let me uh, show you here. So, um, you know the Golden Wrench from Darkcraft? Do not, dark, do not, um, oops, I need that one. There, this guy here allows you to pick up blocks do not pick up tesseracts so i picked up energy tesseract and um it crashed with an air saying ticking block so when i placed it it crashed so i wrenched all of these all these guys are okay these are um the biofuel generators those came back up fine but the um and then the redstone energy cells, they came back fine. But these tesseracts, um, I guess there's ticking stuff going on. So you know what I mean if you're reading this. <laughs> you're watching it. Well, if you don't know what I mean. So Minecraft has ticks, right? So it's essentially active when you pick it up. And, and Minecraft goes, hey, there's a block that you just placed that was doing something, some type of action. Uh, and um, it just totally crashed the system. So... Um, be mindful of that. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm gonna need is, let's see, do I need, do I have enough diamonds? I've got a stack and two thirds. 
I'm going to need a lot of chipsets. So <clears throat> I have the energy to do it. Maybe I can do a small one to manage the... Because uh, I've got... Let's check, let's check our um, tank here. We got 195 buckets. Five, four, three. What's what's draining? Oh, that's draining. That's right. Okay. This guy's was this guy was filling up. So once this guy's full, um, I wonder. I wonder if there's some computer craft. And I'd be able to. Um, To monitor the status of my red cells, redstone cells over here, that would be sweet. Um, well, there's energy there. See, this would feed. So those must be full now. So there must be some of these other ones that just weren't full. And it should be. Um, should be stable now. Eight. I wonder where that's draining off from. That's weird. Somebody on my server stealing my biofuel. <laughs> Thieves! It's you, isn't it, Squiddy? Squidward! Squidward! I don't dare. These things break too easy. <laughs> Uh, you're full. Oh, you're you're chomping at energy, aren't you? Oh, I don't have you off. It is you. It was Squidward. <laughs> Turn that off. <laughs> okay. So that should stop now. Stop draining, eating up a little bit of my power here. Thirty-four, thirty-three. Well, okay, that was one thing. Oh, these guys are going too. So. Um, I guess I can't. Did I turn that off? That one's off. I don't know. I don't think it matters. This one's on. So, oh, I turned that one off because he was he was pretty full. And uh, this guy's getting there. How's my cactus doing down here? I forgot those guys were going. This guy's really slow. But once you toss stuff in the in the the reactors once this gets filled up as as you see it took forever for that to fully flow out we got a couple energy test racks we can do some fun stuff with that um but yeah apparently i'm gonna have to go mining for um i might skip a quarry and just do force shards but if i start one if i start one at base level 19 that's right where diamonds start. I should be able to go straight um, straight to uh, straight to diamonds. So let's see what we got going. So we've got move assembly table, so we can take that down. Um, I guess we have move power. We want to do some soul shards for grinding, and so we gotta um, set up some more stuff to do here. Um, I do want to kill a wither. I haven't killed a wither yet. And I think it'd be cool to um, to do it with different weapons. So if we get a... Um, to try out the different weapons. So there's a... With applied energistics, there's a matter cannon. I'm curious how that's going to go. Obviously, he's going to be um, immune to... Um, ranged attacks hi buddy Pew! dark craft is so over overpowered i love it though it's so much fun it's like Pew! you ever you ever have those dreams where you're flying this is like one of those dreams like you're doink boink boink See, this isn't flying. This is falling with style. <laughs> Look at all these cows. Could use some leather. 
Let's just get a pair of shears and come over and shear these guys. Wow, that guy's pissed off. Look, that guy's doubly mad. Angry zombie. Oh, they're both angry zombies, but one was angrier. <laughs> All right. Well, um, let's see. I'm not sure if I showed you. Ooh, I need to. No, I don't know. I like this, but um, I think I'm gonna redo it. Honestly. Oh, hey, a pouch. I have no room. See, this is the awesome thing about ender pouches. See, I don't need that. Don't need that. Oh um, yeah, don't need those. Get that guy. That guy. Um, stack of obsidian. Don't need that. Don't need that. Um, yeah. Let's go get this. What we got here? Spoils bag, TNT cart. Woo! <laughs> Let's come blow some stuff up. We're coming to blow up your bridge. A wooden mine. Oh, that'd be sick. A wooden mine shaft, like a. Well, there's mine shafts in here. I know, but um, whoa, hello. Um, like an Indiana Jones mine shaft, where you got like running around with these with the railcraft in here. You should be able to do that. That that's going on the list. Indiana Jones ride. That's on the list. <laughs> that's getting its own. Indiana Jones ride. Um, 1,000 blocks. It's going to be a 1,000 block ride. <laughs> That's going to be sweet. All right. Um, I think we got a full load today. So, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed my smiling face my schnazzy sexy cross face <laughs> so if you guys are having a good time go ahead and like the video um, if you enjoy the series go ahead and subscribe so you can be updated and the next time I release them um, having a good time um, I hope you guys are having a good time with me all right take care have